you that and see this is the one meter mutton the one meter mutton that thing is longer than my arm god Okay, hi, we're at Golden Mile Food Centre and we're here to try King Heng Wampo Teochew Lor Mi. They began at Wampo Dry Food Centre in 1983 but shifted to Golden Mile Food Centre in 1996 and they do a Teochew version of Lor Mi which is very different from the Hokkien style which everybody is accustomed to. Okay, come, let's have a taste. Okay, we have a bowl now and I ordered the $5 option. Um, but firstly, an explanation of what lor mee is. Lor mee is a Chinese noodle dish. It's a Hokkien creation and it's mainly eaten in Singapore, Malaysia. Basically, it's yellow flat noodles in a thick starchy gravy. And the gravy is made using the spice rich, usually five spice powder, braised soy liquid which you get when you braise belly pork. Then they have the soy liquid and then they add tapioca starch, spices and egg drizzles. It was primarily a poor man's dish in the early days but over the years as people got more affluent more premium ingredients were added like nor hyang, meat and prawn roll seasoned with five spice powder fish cake, fish, wontons, meat dumplings, boiled egg and pork belly Now the ingredients actually change from stall to stall but the main connecting ingredients are obviously the gravy and the noodles So for this stall you get your battered fish, two pieces you get fish cake, you get wontons, one or two, two Two pieces, well at least for the $5 option. Braised belly pork, nor hyang, the fried fish skin which is one of the stall's trademarks. And it's something which you can't find in any other lor mee stall. Now for lor mee stalls, the gravy is enhanced using a variety of seasonings like Chinese black vinegar, minced garlic, spring onions, sliced chilli, and usually chilli sambal which is oil rich and is comprised of either dried prawns and it is perhaps slightly sweet. Here, instead of sambal chilli, they use sambal blachan and no other lor mee stall uses this. I have an explanation of what sambal blachan is and I'll link it here or here if you want a more in-depth uh, explanation of what it is. So this is the sambal blachan. Spicy, blachan very spicy. But it's definitely got this um, dried prawn paste, savoury flavour to it. Um, I can't really show you the Chinese black vinegar because it's actually been mixed in with the gravy already but basically it's got an earthy rounded sourness to it Okay, minced garlic This should be plain minced garlic Yeah, plain, plain minced garlic Spring onions Spring onions adds a vegetable herb taste yeah. And chilli padi now, a fair warning, the chilli padi in combination with the sambal blachan means that the dish can be quite spicy. You've been warned, um, if you can't take spice, ask the lady boss to hold back on the chilies. 
Another point before I start is that lor mee is a Hokkien dish. But the store owners here claim that the lor mee is a traditional Teochew version. And what they mean by it, uh, when I ask them, is that braised eggs are actually omitted and there is more emphasis on the braised pork and there is less sweetness in the gravy. So let's taste the gravy alone. The gravy stock is actually made using chicken bones, pig bones and anchovies. I do see some egg swells, but it's not a lot of egg swells. At this price point, 3, 4 and 5, don't expect a lot. It's really more for like decoration. There's a fairly thick consistency, obviously made thick using tapioca starch. There is a stock meat flavour, savoury, it isn't as sweet and that's a very crucial quality. Because most lor mee stalls, there's an element of sweetness in the gravy most of the time. Here, there isn't. Now, the colour of the gravy is lighter than usual, but don't actually be full, okay? The gravy is actually quite flavourful. It's obviously starchy, but, um, but as the meal goes on, the starch will actually break down, you know, and then it gets more and more watery. But here, it doesn't break down so easily. It actually stays fairly thick throughout the meal. That's obviously dependent on how fast you actually eat it, lah. So the difference between this stall and other lor mee stalls is that they automatically give you all the seasonings. The Chinese black vinegar, just throw in. The sambal blachan, spring onions, minced garlic and sliced chilli. But they don't just give you a bit of it. They give you liberal amounts of it. And I think that makes a big difference in the taste. So let's mix it up. Before I go on, it's a $5 option and they give you 3 wontons, 2 battered fish and 3 crispy friskin. So tasting the gravy with some of the noodles. So the texture of the noodles itself, it's soft but yet there's still some firmness inside. You don't really taste much of the alkaline smell which is good, but the overall taste of it, it's still savoury, but then the enhancing that um, savoury stock flavour, so there's an additional layer of a sambal and blachan flavour. It's garlicky, the sourness from the black vinegar, spicy, the spring onion herbiness, and there are no sweet notes whatsoever. And that's actually very refreshing in a long dish. The ingredients that they give you here, the highlights are the trio of three crispy items that they actually give you. The battered fish, the fried wonton skin, and the fried fish skin. It's pretty obvious to mention this, but I'll mention it anyway. Crispy items and gravy, they don't obviously mix well, because the crispiness will actually soften over time, because it's actually mixed in with the gravy. But bear in mind that the dish is actually meant to be eaten quickly. So if you're a slow eater, don't be disappointed if you encounter uh, soft fish skin or wonton skin and so on. The battered fish. Out of the three, this is the biggest highlight. Still crispy, wonderfully marinated inside, still soft, still moist, especially if you come in the early mornings because they've actually just fried it. You can taste a lot of the fish flavour and they put in fairly chunky pieces inside. Look, see? I'll show you. And so it's not just um, a battered flour and a little bit of fish, there's actually a lot of fish inside. And it's beautifully flavoured. The wonton skin, obviously I've been talking, you know, it's softened a bit, but hey, when you do eat it fresh, it is actually fairly crunchy. Nice. Mm. Not to say that it is just crispy wonton skin. You do get meat inside, but they put a minuscule amount of meat. It's really like a tiny morsel, about, you know, half my small finger. It's really very, very small. So it's really no point mentioning it. So I would actually rather call it fried wonton skin instead. But it is a fairly crunchy once you get it fresh. That's the first thing you should eat first. The fried fish skin, there's still a bit of crispiness, but the bottom bit is uh, it's really soaked with gravy. Fish flavour, crispy fish skin. It seems like a gimmick, but it's actually not. It's actually a wonderful addition to the dish. It's amazing. Now, they also throw in nor hyang and fish cake, but they are really nothing much to shout about. Like. You know, um, here's the nor hyang. Got a sweet fish cake flavour to it. Maybe slightly flowery. I taste some vegetables inside. Flowery, sweet fish cake flavour. Yeah, it's alright. There's fish cake, but it's a normal factory fish cake. Savory fish cake flavor, bouncy. 
Now braised pork belly is meant to be a highlight here, but they give you like really minuscule bits. And they actually give it to you in bits and it's like not very impressive and you know. A little bit here, and there's a little bit here. You know, it's really just scraps lah, you know. So, which is alright, you know. You know, the occasional meat scrap here and there. So it's nice, but there's not a lot of it, and the pieces are small, and I would have liked more of it. But the flavour itself is actually very nice. It's got that braised soy flavour, the meat is very tender, plus the fat is soft. It is really a nitpick of sorts, as the dish is, what, $3, $4, $5. At this price point, you really can't expect too much, you know, and there are a lot of ingredients already. Some of the noodles, the wonton skin, some gravy, and a bit of the fish cake, all mixed in together. One massive bite like this. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Mm. Oh, actually, it's getting a bit spicy right now. Okay, I've actually counted the Nohyang pieces. I think in about a $5 portion, you get about 5 or 6 pieces. The fish cake as well, they give you also about maybe 4 or 5 um, fairly sizable pieces. For the brain spot pieces, you get about, I mean, you know, bearing in mind that they're about the size of my pinky, you get about also another 5 or 6 pieces. It's not too bad, okay? So do you remember I told you about the fact that the starchy gravy actually breaks apart as you eat the meal? Well, I finally at the end of the meal and the starch has finally broken down. And this is what it looks like now. It's all broken down now. But the gravy is still pretty damn flavorful. Mm. So all finished. There you go. Look at King Hing Wampo Teochew Lor Mi. I must try if you're here at Golden Mile Food Centre. Um, there are a few things, as I said, that could be better like more braised pork, better nohyang, and homemade fish cake. Obviously, it's going to cost a lot more if that happens. But it is still, in my opinion, one of the top 5, top 10 lor mee stalls in Singapore. So thanks for watching another episode of Great Speed Eats. I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this episode, if you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, spicy. I think I need a drink.